Hi, I'm Tamara with Wyoming Dutch Oven Cooking. Welcome to our channel. Welcome to our kitchen. We're going to be doing something wonderful today, and it's going to be in two steps. Of course, we're not in Wyoming right now. We're down here in beautiful, sunny Arizona, and uh, it's Christmas time. And so guess what we're doing? We're going to do a garlic, a butter garlic herb prime rib in our Dutch oven. And why there is two steps is, today I'm going to, I've softened one cup of butter and you've got to have real butter. And I've gone ahead and measured all of my spices here. And what we have is a tablespoon of salt, a teaspoon of black pepper, and you can either use fresh minced garlic or powdered garlic. Today I am using powdered garlic and one tablespoon of that, a tablespoon of thyme, a tablespoon of oregano, and rosemary. And I'm going to put that into my melted butter and mix this real well. Oh my, this is so wonderful. And isn't that a beautiful prime rib? That is a seven pound prime rib and we did not cut the bones off. So this has got the bones on it. Some people like to cut that bone off, but we prefer to have it on there. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this real well. We hope everybody's having a wonderful Christmas, a wonderful holiday. We certainly are. Of course, we're eating very well, too. We believe in eating well, enjoying it with friends. We would love to say we're going to enjoy it with family, but all of our family's up in Montana right now. And when I say we're going to rub this on all sides with this butter, you got to get with it with your hands here. And then I'm going to wrap it with, maybe I won't have to use my hands. I'm going to wrap this with saran wrap or cover it with saran wrap. Put it in the refrigerator and let it sit overnight. Let all these flavors go into this meat. Oh my goodness. I bet you wish you were here with us. Like I said, you want to put this on all sides so all these wonderful flavors get all worked into your meat. Oh, yes, I'm going to. My husband's reminding me. You know, if you subscribe to our channel, every Tuesday we have wonderful, another wonderful video coming out. And of course, right now, we're kind of geared towards the holidays. And if you subscribe, there's a little bell, a little icon button. You just click onto that, and that alerts you that every Tuesday, we have another wonderful, fun video coming out. Hit that like button. Oh, yes. We want you to hit that like button. And we really love some feedback, some comments. You know... Let us know how we're doing. We would love that. Okay, so this is it for now. You'll be joining us again tomorrow, and we're going to take you out to our outdoor cooking area that we've got fixed up really well and show you what, how we're going to cook this beautiful prime rib. So we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, what we're doing here, yesterday you saw me getting my prime rib all ready, and now we're out here in our Dutch oven cooking area. And we've got some fair heat going on here because we want to brown this five minutes on each side at a good temperature of 450. And because uh, you can see this is browning really nice, and we're going to keep turning it and brown it on both sides or all sides. And then we're going to reduce the temperature down to 325. And what the rule is to make this wonderful is we're going to cook it about 15 minutes per pound. But we have an instant read thermometer that we love to use, and we'll be keeping an eye on the temperature. We want it to about 125, but we'll be keep watching it. Okay, we'll get back with you in a few minutes here. As you can see, we browned this on both sides, and boy, does this smell wonderful. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to reduce the heat. We're going to take off some briquettes because we want to bring it down to 325. And like I told you, then we will cook it for, you know, 15 minutes per pound. And of course, we're going to be keeping an eye on that internal temperature because you do not want this overcooked. So 
So we're going to reduce the temperature and we'll be showing you this in a little bit when we get it done. Look at this beautiful Christmas dinner. I bet you wish you could join us today. Everything turned out absolutely beautiful. This prime rib is to die for. You've got to try it. Like I told you in the description below, it gives you the times and how to cook it and the temperature and everything because that is all about cooking a prime rib, I'm telling you. And what I also did today to go along with our Christmas dinner is I have some ginger, fresh ginger, and honey and butter glazed carrots that are really good. And I did those in my cast iron skillet on my stove today. We hope you enjoy this. We're hoping everybody is having a wonderful, wonderful Merry Christmas with your family and your friends. And of course, we do have a website. It is wyomingdutchovencooking.com. If you go to that website, we have a user's guide, which is really great. It tells you all of the different ways and how to take care of your cast iron. And we have a free recipe book. And you can also order some of the spices and cooking things that we love to cook with and some of our enamel Dutchware and cooking tables and everything. We hope you enjoy this. Thank you for joining us, and we would love a comment. And, of course, please hit that like button. And, of course, our motto is great food shared with family and friends equals great times. Until we meet again, Merry Christmas.